as everyone's flocking over to ChatGPT, the conversational model developed by OpenAI, we're seeing that it is at capacity for a lot of us, but do we really understand what ChatGPT is, how it was trained, and what OpenAI plans on doing with this AI? Well, let's talk about that today. So first off, ChatGPT is a conversational language model, which was developed by a company known as OpenAI and gives us an AI specifically designed to generate human-like text. Much like I'm doing here, I'm talking to the AI and when I ask it how it is, it says that it does not have feelings or physical sensations. Is there something specific we wanna talk about? Currently, ChatGPT is in a research preview in order to actually use their system with lots of people so they can interact with it safely. But at some point, this research preview will probably end. And when I ask it when it's going to end, it tells me that it doesn't know. And the reason being that they do this is they want it tested and refined through research from the public. What the ChatGPT model is based off of is something called generative pre-trained transformer architecture. And to a lot of us, that doesn't mean much, but basically this is a type of a neural network or a way to simulate human learning and basically uses self-feedback to process and generate this new language. So let's actually simplify that a little bit since ChatGPT is being fine-tuned for a specific human-like conversation, let's ask it, what is GPT in a simple way? Let's see if it picks up on that. It says, in simple terms, generative pre-trained transformer GPT is a type of artificial intelligence model that is trained on a large data set of text. The model uses training data to generate new text that is similar to the text that it's being trained on. Chat GPT models can be fine-tuned in a variety of natural language processing tasks, such as language translation, question answering, and text completion. What it doesn't talk about and what you should do right now is smash that like button for me as we're learning about ChatGPT, the inner workings. But to go in more depth here, the transformer-based neural network that generates human-like text allows ChatGPT to understand the context of whatever's being input because it can actually train on this as well and generate more fine-tuned relevant re responses. So understand while you're typing stuff in, you're more than likely training this model, especially on the research preview. So you may be asking yourself, how in the world was ChatGPT trained? and its data model built. Well, it's really trained on a data set of around 8 million web pages. Yes, that's 8 million and has a variety of conversational text, which allows the different types of conversations that you have with it to be made. We can also ask it what types of data sets were used to create ChatGPT. Let's see what it comes back with. And basically it comes back with it's proprietary, but it does say that there's books involved, websites, articles, all used to train the model. We can suspect basically anything that is available publicly to the internet, the AI could have trained on, so you can probably guess. So sure, now we understand what ChatGPT is, what kind of data sets it used to train, but what kind of tasks can it actually perform? But before we talk about that, know that when you're interacting with the chatbot, that it more than likely is actually keeping conversation history. This is important to understand because as you interact with the AI, some of those conversations may be stored. Even when I ask it if it can clear the chat, it warns me that, yeah, sure, it can clear the chat, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the chat history will be cleared. And do you want me to proceed? This is a way of just clearing things, but not necessarily guaranteeing history was kept. Anyways, we can create a new chat and talk about those tasks that it can perform. Well, the current way that we interact with the model is, of course, through this input. So it can do a variety of things, such as answering questions, summarizing, text, writing, whether that be blogs, stories, scripts, etc., can be used for simplification. And one thing that isn't really being talked about is that this model can actually be fine-tuned for specific conversation. Stuff about like servicing for your specific field, finance, analysis, word analysis, and much, much more. You can actually train this model based on the API that's actually available. At the end of the day, OpenAI's goal here is not going to be to offer you a chatbot to use because they ultimately don't make money off of this. And I'll explain this in a future video, but basically the breakdown is that eventually you'll be able to use an API to communicate with the AI and create your own applications. Things like chatbots and virtual assistants are good examples, which a big one might be customer service chatbots because you can imagine how human-like the chatbot can become using this conversational model. And something not mentioned anywhere around here is training. You can actually train models for yourself, for your own business, for your company, whatever. And that's where these types of things come in handy. If you have specific servicing, finance, 
requirements or you want to process words or come up with words for your specific company, you can actually train the AI through an API to fine tune it for your specific business. In the future, I believe we're going to have specific jobs and careers based solely on using AI to generate more revenue and ideas for businesses. And I believe that's definitely one of the goals for OpenAI and the reason they're using this ChatGPT research preview for all of us to use. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hopefully now you understand more about ChatGPT. Smash that like button if you do. Catch me down in the comment section. Subscribe below if you haven't already. You've already made it this far. You might as well. And I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.